Isn't that sweet? Even after all we've done to them, they still love each other. I don't understand, sir. Why don't we just kill them? Because, my naive, sadistic friend, we must take him down systematically. Take away the girl he loves, his hope, his light. Once that is gone, he should be shrouded in darkness again, and we, we, we would have already won. Besides, whatever happens, it's completely up to him. The show's back on. Let's see what happens. a good little girl right now. I don't want you riling her up. Sit down. Play a nice friendly game of cards. Won't you? Good old fashioned poker. Game of our forefathers. You know how to play?
bottom way up the alley. Uh, what did you have in mind? Let's say you win. You get sweet cheeks here. Not so much as a peep out of me and my boys. And if you win? She stays. You leave town. Tonight. And when you go, you don't come back. So what's it going to be? I, uh, uh... Spit it out, spit it out, spit it out. Nothing. I've got nothing. Turn that shit off. So, what are you thinking? What did you have in mind? Don't know really. Just working on something at the moment, if you don't mind hanging about. Oh, okay then. Okay, I'll, I'll just be waiting here. I won't be going anywhere. I'll just be here. So I'm ready now, if you want to get going. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I wasn't doing anything, so sure. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Bonjour, monsieur. Merci. So one of these times, I was walking back from the cliffs, and I lost my footing. I fell quite away, and I couldn't stand up at all. What are you doing here? I started to panic, screaming and yelling for help, certain that this would be it. Creeping death. I really don't know. Stop it. Listen to me. Focus. I was terrified. I thought I would die in agony, and seeing no signs of hope. Then. There it was, 
the seagull. When I was rescued, I saw the seagull flying out to sea. I asked my dad, and he told me that that's where they go to die. You see, it's then that I realised it's pointless to be scared of what's around you. The fear, the loneliness, the darkness. When you have a beacon keeping you alight, you just need to make sure that the darkness inside never comes out and extinguishes that light. I wrote you that letter when we were younger. You said it was the easiest way to get it across to me how you felt. You were such a good writer. But I almost let the most important thing slip away. I was doing what I said I wouldn't. I won't let that happen again. I promise you. So! Don't you can forget about me? You ain't worth remembering, you son of a bitch. Woohoo! That's the spirit boy! Face it, you ain't never been able to shake me. I'm always gonna be here reminding you that you can beat me. Now or ever. I own you, boy. I own you. Not no more, you don't. The only thing you owning is my lead in your chest. Cut the bullshit. Let's do this. the darkness inside. I'm so sorry. You know you're my inspiration. <laughs>